Thank you, Mr. Chair. And uh, Dr. Terrell, um, when you're advising women in their, um, t and you're testing them for fetal abnormalities, is spina bifida one that you would say is inconsistent with life? Dr. Terrell? No. It's not. Representative okay. Lomer? Okay, good. Um, you know, we've talked a little bit today about you know, philosophical and, and personal, um, and I appreciate the woman who testified um, here earlier in her story, and I'm sorry, but I have a personal um, story as well. My son <coughs> is 29 years old and was born with spina bifida, and I, I guess I just like to say that um, I'm really thankful that he is in our lives. He's 29 years old. He is um, an amazing, amazing young man. And I'm really thankful that I am um, on this committee, Health and Human Services Committee, and I see my role here, and I think many of us on this committee see our role here as um, standing up for disabled people. And um, I think that we have an, a moral obligation to protect all people, as someone said, and the unborn, even if they're handicapped, need to be protected. And I, you know, the testimony is clear that there is pain, and I don't think that it's a, a fair, um, I, I don't know, people make decisions for different reasons, but I just, I would like to see us pass this bill. Thank you very much, um, Representative Holbrook, for bringing this bill forward. Um, we need to protect people in all stages of life and in all conditions of life. It's not our position to choose. <laughs>